In this video, we'll be going over what happens with standing waves in terms of phase difference. So I put this one down, what's better than standing ovation? A standing wave. All right, if we look at phase difference, remember in standing waves, these are the superposition of two different waves interacting back and forth, and it's the superposition that makes it look like it's oscillating up and down, so to speak, like these ends like this. So if I drew the opposite, remember this is something that moves, but if I did uh, you know, the opposite of it, it would be something like, this here, just to try to show you that this whole thing is actually dynamic, it's moving up and down. So for example, it'll be something like this at some point, it'll be something like this at some point. And remember these are nodes here, so this right here, uh, maybe just draw it here, so this is a node here, and a node here, and a node here, and a node here, and a node here. Now what we talk about this is all points from one node to the next. So in other words, from this node to this one, for example, so from here to here, any points within this, so these any points right here, these right here are all in phase with each other. So all in phase. And if something is in phase, it means there's no difference between them. So what we can say then is the phase difference could be, for example, we can say zero radians here. So this here is an important thing here. This right here is an important piece of information here. Okay, this is very, very important. So that means then from one node to the next, that means from here to here as well. These points from here to here, they're all in phase with each other. That's because they're all going up or they're all going down. They're all going in the same sort of directions here. So all these are here in phase. All the ones from here to here are also in phase and so on. Now, we've got another situation. How about adjacent nodal regions? What does that mean? Well, let's remember, I've got, let's say, from here to here and here. Let's just say, so from this is maybe a node and another node and another node. What we're talking about is, okay, f adjacent nodal regions, which means if we're looking at these points compared to these points. Okay, so we can see that these are here. Uh, we're going to say this, the phase difference then between these ones are here is going to be, well, we're going to say it's the uh, opposite of this. So it's going to be 180 degrees, which even better is to talk about radians. And I don't know if you remember about radians, but 360 degrees, let me write it down here, 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. That's like a whole circle is 2 pi. So if it's 180 degrees, it's half of that. That means it just must be pi radians. So that means these ones right here then, we can see, any points like, you know, let's say this is region A and this here is region B, we can say A, yeah, all right, just like that, points in A uh, are pi radians out of phase uh, with points in B. Okay, let's see if we can maybe do a question with this. So we were told that we have a string that is closed at both ends, and we have a standing wave that oscillates at the second harmonic. This should actually make sense, because remember, uh, closed at both ends, the first harmonic is actually the one that goes like this, up and down like this, this is the first. And the second then is the one that does, uh, well, it's one extra node. Remember that, we add one extra node in the middle, this right here is like this. So in other words, this drawing down here is correct. It's always good to double check that there's not something weird going on, but this is the second harmonic. It goes like this. So yay, this does look like this drawing. Now the question is, what's the phase difference between points P and Q? Well, you have to remember that P and Q, these points, they're all in the same nodal region, right? So that means all points here are in phase. And what does it mean to be in phase? Well, that means the phase difference is going to be zero radians. And because this is P and Q are all in the same nodal region, then we're going to say then that P and Q are in phase. So that was a pretty short little video. So we just talked about phase difference in standing waves. And all that really matters is, hey, any points between, you know, within a node, any points here are in phase with each other, any points from here to here are in phase with each other, and so on. And furthermore, if you have adjacent places, if you're considering points that are here compared to a point that's over here, they are 180 degrees or pi radians out of phase. So that's the key piece there.